All right, we have a great guest. You know, my my obsession for the last two years has been woke companies that we got to boycott the bad ones, defund them, and we've got to fund the good ones, reward them. So I've got the boycott book, the Great Patriot boycott book, and the Great Patriot boycott book. You know, my boycott book. And all of a sudden, I got a guest on. He's running for the Republican presidential nomination, and his obsession has been woke companies. He wrote a book called Woke Inc. about all these woke companies. And I've had him before on my national radio show. First time I've ever had him on Real America's Voice, America's Top Ten Countdown. Let me introduce Vivek Ramaswamy, Republican candidate for President of the United States and, and a guy with some of the best creative ideas in America today. If not this time, he will be a future superstar for the Republican Party. And that's why I wanted to get him on. Vivek, I've, I've enjoyed listening to everything you talk about. You are truly a breath of fresh air. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to talk to you again. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How's your presidential campaign going? It's going great. I mean, we're off the ground. We started at 0.0%. Now we're tied at third or fourth in most of the national polls. And I think this is just the beginning of a national revival. I'm the first actual millennial ever to run for U.S. president as a Republican. And I'll tell you something about my generation. We're so hungry for a cause, for purpose and meaning and identity when the things that used to fill that void, like family and faith and patriotism, those things have disappeared. What I'm on a mission to do is to reach the next generation of Americans, young Americans, and reinstill those values by making them cool again, make family cool again, make faith and belief in country a cool concept for the next generation, such that we're not just running from something, we're actually running to something as a movement. That's what I'm hoping to do and lead I'm an America first conservative, but to put America first, I think we have to rediscover what America is. And that's what I'm doing through this campaign. All right. Let me let me give you a quote for The New York Post and let me get a reaction to it. The sure. New York Post described you as a 37 year old woke busting entrepreneur, son of Indian immigrants from Ohio, the GOP's first millennial presidential candidate, a more energetic but less divisive version of Trump. His vision is America first, even more than Trump. Uh, tell us your reaction to that description of you, Vivek. I actually hadn't seen that particular article, but I'll, I'll take that description. I think it's a good description of what I'm trying to do is to take the America first movement even further than Donald Trump did. Not just talking about building the wall, but using the military to secure our southern border and our northern border, too, which is increasingly a problem. End race based affirmative action in America. You can do it by executive order because Lyndon Johnson started it by executive order. Other Republicans have been afraid to touch that one. I'm not just going to put Betsy DeVos on top of the U.S. Department of Education. She's a nice enough person. The Department of Education should not exist. I've said I was the first to say that I would shut it down. So in many ways, I'm going further than Trump ever did. But I think we can go further and unite the country if we're doing it based on first principles and moral authority, not just vengeance and grievance. What I would say is I respect what Trump did, but I want to build on that foundation and take this movement to the next level. Kind of like Ronald Reagan did in 1980. He led us out of a national identity crisis in the late 70s. I think we have the opportunity to deliver a landslide election in 2024 if we take the approach that Reagan did by tying it to first principles, answering the question of who we really are as a people. That's what I'm on a mission to do. Vivek, you probably don't even realize this, but in 2008, I ran for president of the United States as a libertarian. I thought huh. it was the Republican Party was was so bad under George W. Bush that after a lifetime of being a Republican, I decided to leave the party and run as a libertarian. And I wound up winning the vice presidential nomination and hmm. served on the presidential ticket. Now, we didn't win the election, but I was on a presidential ticket in 2008. Now, you're running for president and I was trying to become the presidential candidate. I was not running for vice president. But look, I love Trump. And I think you'd make a great vice presidential candidate paired with Donald Trump. I, you're still running for president. I get that. You want to win. I get that. But is that of interest to you if you were uh, asked to be a vice presidential candidate like I was in 2008? I didn't know that about your story. And I respect you for actually putting the country first and asking how you can make that maximal difference. It took a lot. You were ahead of the curve in realizing that George Bush was leading the Republican Party in a wrong, wrong direction. So I didn't know that about you, but I respect that hearing it. Look, for me, we don't make a sacrifice like this lightly. 
I've got a three-year-old at home and an 11-month at home. We've lived the full arc of the American dream. Now it's about how do we actually maximally give back to the country and actually create that American dream again for the next generation of Americans. We put an eight-figure sum of our own family's money into this campaign because I didn't want to depend on the donor class, ringing a tin can, taking a hat in hand, asking for donors for permission to run. That's part of the problem with the Republican Party. And you're right, there's two outsiders in this race who aren't dependent on that. It's Trump and myself. But I'm in this to actually win the nomination and lead the America First agenda to the next level. Build on Trump's foundation. I respect his work. We have, I think it's well known, we have a good friendly relationship with one another we have for a long time. I would take his mentorship as an advisor. If I was elected president, I'm taking on the administrative state. I want to know where the bodies are buried. I want to know what his experiences were. But I think to take this movement further, I'm in this race to actually deliver a landslide election in a way that Reagan did in 1980. I think I'm the best positioned candidate to do that. So that's where my focus is today. And we're still very early in this race. I respect what Trump did in 2015. We're polling a little bit ahead of where he was in June of 2015 at the same time. So we've got a long-term view here. I'm in New Hampshire. We're aiming to win this state come next early February. And I think that most of all, I know all of us are in this, Trump, myself included, to figure out how we have the maximal impact on our country, how we actually save the American spirit how we actually revive a national identity for the next generation, and how we solve the problems that this country is facing in an unsparing way. That's what I'm in this race to do. Vivek, take this as a great compliment. I think you'll make a great future presidential candidate. I think you could very well be a vice presidential nominee right now, coming from a former presidential candidate and vice presidential nominee. You're well-spoken, you're attractive, you're telegenic, you've got great ideas. I think the future is fantastic for you, whether it's now or later. And I want to congratulate you for getting in the race. Thank you for coming on the show. Vivek Ramaswamy, Republican candidate for President of the United States' His website, Vivek, V-I-V-E-K, 2024.com. Vivek, 2024.com. Vivek, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me, man. I appreciate it. All right, coming up next, Final Four. Root Madness, up next.